Yeah, the classic encounter, this one, isn't it? <laughs> Straight away. Active group finals. <laughs> Fabulous pot. One. 73. A firm yes, this has been outstanding. Brilliant potting early on. 81. Precision to finish the frame off. Let's hope with a century. 89. Blue ball. Yeah, he finished very close to the blue. So it's not the same time, but 89 has got his first chance. Here is one of the tests of queuing that any snooker player can face. Digging deep, so there's no bailout. Has to go. One. <laughs> oh, what an answer. One. It played to perfection. See so far tonight. It might not look all that good, but the, the beauty of that shot, he didn't overplay it. Didn't get over ambitious with his cue ball. Mm. Didn't Mark see that Selby. coming. 25. Change of plan is I say that the pockets are playable, so leave the cue ball high. Still fancy the red. Fourteen. And he's got his reward. Trump already 23 in front. One. snookers now and that's significant because that might have saved a a lot of pain but also a lot of time and possibly the frame as well you just never know oh, it, it 
wobbled and wobbled, but it didn't drop. It's freeze out time at the minute for Mark. This is One. where Judd's got to pounce and press home the advantage. Again, he uses experience here. He'll play 66. it. Whichever way helps the pot, as far as cue ball's concerned. Yeah, this is coming in. Straight black. Frame one, that could have been a century. He won the safety battle in the last frame. Hasn't quite got the cluster there, but come back after the interval is to get in early in a frame and start doing some damage himself because he's been kept out. Chan, 74. Well, anything could have gone in anywhere there, frankly, but nothing did. It was a good break, wasn't it? 74. They opened the reds like that because if Selby had got on one and been able to take four of the five in blacks, take it down to one, the free ball comes into play then. Well, seven. And that's the, the end of that. He's caught the black. Jed Trump on top. As the players hit. It looks pretty risk free dropping into them of two cushions anyway. Not saying that. Maybe he has stuck it well. There you are. He has. Looked fairly innocuous One. going into him in that way. Nine. One. If he had have missed the jaws there, the keyboard would have come out green. Blue ball. It's no good to him. This blue is mighty difficult. Well, see, he didn't take the green because he could have any... Not that it was in any way easy. One. That was a, a desperation blue. And to Selby's great relief. It didn't come close, as Neil said. Clearance. Oh, didn't quite run for him. Nine. We were relieved, we were relieved that it never amounted to anything. So this is a big moment, I feel, in this match. <laughs> Judd got him in a snooker. Which Selby, but this is a real examination. <laughs> oh, a little bang of the cue there, he knows that he's done damage here. This frame has got something, we have some life still in it, I think. Eight. 
Judge Trump, eh? Apart from the clearance, that was the next best thing. <laughs> this is the lengthiest frame of the match. And you have to think, perhaps the most important. Foul and a miss. How about that? Wow, I tell you, that makes a difference. Chunk four. That, uh, he wouldn't go in there. He just checked it. Didn't see him missing this. I'm sure he's trying to hit one side of it, but of course, now the equation has changed. It wouldn't go to a respot if Judge Trump could clear these. Now, this is the reds on the table for one reason alone, just to measure the no free, ball. free ball, which it isn't. It was called as a miss. Yeah, it is a miss. It was a miss. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and uh, he'll duly have it put back. A good referee, you know. I really do think that Marcel Eckhart is an extremely proficient referee. Doing his job well, very alert to what's happening out there with the replacement of the balls, which is it's sometimes it can be quite an arduous procedure. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. His concentration levels are terrific. Five. Well, that, that bounced out. I mean, that did bounce out. Mark Selby. Yes. Yes. Of course, I think that yeah, she certainly should have gone in. Wow, that's a great split. <laughs> well, that won't make Mark Selby feel any better. Well, it's an interesting little point of the match we've just seen there. It'll only mean anything if Jeb Trump goes on and wins the frame from here. Well, that was a little bit out of kilter with his usual range on safety. He played him behind. Yellow and brown there, and Selby's usually very good at getting in those areas, but not that time. He has left a red on, so that is a mistake for Selby, uh, out of character. So far, we've had 16 here this week. Only 12 centuries in the tournament in its entirety last year. Yep, the shot was always there. Beautiful. What we're going to see one here to add to that list. Now that he's played a delightful cannon. 99. He played so well in his uh, previous matches, especially. The Mark Allen game is almost unplayable. But I think the problem for both players, really, is they have got to follow up a very good win. Mark Selby beat John Higgins impressively. Going to follow up with another big win. And that is the first century of the evening. 104. One hundred and five. Yeah, about that? What a shot. How many cushions? Let's just count them. Five, I make it. 
Brilliant shot. 112. 114. Moves and the flame. Two ahead. Okay, it's a mark. Two ahead. One. It's just a fantastic shot, it really is, because, like I say, he was in a spot of bother, and now he's absolutely bang in the balls. That is wonderful queuing. There's one big shot here, just avoiding the green and then slipping back up down the right side of the table. Oh. Touch on 27. Surprised he missed it. I thought the positional side of it was yes, the, pro the problem. Well, there you see it. Do you think, well, that was a bad miss, but then all the things that go on in the snooker player's mind. Time away from the table. Time to let some negative thoughts creep in, in the case of some players. I'm not saying that's what happened there. As it happens, it wasn't a very easy shot, but it's not any easier when you've not seen a ball for half an hour. Foul and a miss. Touch on seven. Four attempts, four valiant attempts, but nevertheless, a quarter to fouls and 22 penalty points thus far. That will do, thank you. Two points given away, but in many respects, it might be a, a profitable trade off for Selby. Uh, not if this red goes in, Phil. What? Not now, you're right. It was a tough pot. And Trump is clearly in to win. not there yet and we don't know Four. how things are going to pan out over the next few days even if he does win but I can tell you one thing he's definitely playing a lot better it's the first real sign from Judd Five. this season since the world championships where you now he got beaten in the final by Ronnie O'Sullivan and the signs are the work that he's been putting in is paying off because he's playing better no doubt what do you thinking he's won yet Judd 17 17. Some flickering embers of hope for Selby, the great escapologist. Frank conceded. Frank, and that's the has been extinguished. 
Scotland. We're always looking for turning points in these matches. There's no doubt where the turning point was tonight. 3-3 Selby potted a black. It jumped out of the pocket. And from that moment,